Hey guys and welcome. In today's video I'm going to be announcing my shave gear of the year for 2015. So these are the products that over the past year have been my absolute favorite. Some of them are new, some of them are ones I've had in the past, but these are ones that have just been constant performers throughout the year and I think have stood above and beyond other products in their category and that I want to give recognition to. But first of all I'd like to thank all of you guys for your uh, viewership, your support, all the comments, likes, all that stuff of my channel this past year. My channel has grown substantially and that's obviously all thanks to you guys. So thank you so very much. I just want to share with you guys a few stats here about the channel. So over this past year, there have been 2.19 million views. And my channel only has about 3.5 million views total. So over this past year, that's accounted for almost two-thirds of all those total views. So thank you guys so much for that. And then additionally, number of subscribers this past year, I've added 9,197 subscribers, which is just incredible. And I have a total of about 17,000 subscribers. So my views and subscribers and all that have doubled over this past year. So thank you guys so much for your support. This is something I very, very much enjoy in my life. And I can do this. Do thank, thanks to you guys for your support of my channel. You make all this possible. So thank you guys all for that. And I hope you've all had a happy new year. This past year has been a good, safe, happy and healthy year for you and your family. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the product. So the first product I'm going to be announcing today is my shaving soap of the year. I don't really use shaving creams, um, but they would be in this category too, just kind of shaving cream or soap. But this year it's going to be a shaving soap. And my shaving soap of the year goes to Barrister and Man Seville. So Barrister and Man produces excellent products. Their shaving soaps are amazing. And this award really goes out to all of their shaving soaps. This just happens to be my favorite scent of theirs. They also have a, uh, a lime cedarwood lavender that I really love. Their ferox is incredible. Their fougeres are just amazing. I love their fougeres. And they have a couple others. Um, actually, most of them I really, really do love a lot. Oh, and their new Lava series. Awesome. The Oceana, I think, is my favorite in that series. But overall, when I'm looking at Barrister and Man products, the Seville, that's my favorite scent. And these products, they just perform so well. They're very easy to lather up. The lather is just very thick and creamy. It's got great cushion. These have tallow in them, the soaps. And I think that tallow soaps, when you can dial them in, give me at least the best shave that I can have. And Barrister and Man has really stood out. So thank you, Barrister and Man. Excellent, excellent products. It's definitely well deserved. And I'm going to be featuring Seville. And Seville is kind of a barbershop scent with a little bit of, I'd say, a citrus twist on the classic barbershop. So that's all I'll be using for today's shave. It's down here blooming right now. All right, my safety razor of the year goes to the Mercor 34C. I've tried so many safety razors over the years when I've been doing this channel, but I just keep coming back to this razor. This is my go-to razor. You guys know that. And this is a razor I think everyone should have in their collection if you're a wet shaver. It's just such a nice, medium, aggressive razor. You can really tone this razor up in its aggressiveness by putting a really sharp blade in there. Or it can be a very mild shaver if you're putting a, a uh, you know, very dull blade. Well, not a dull, but a smooth blade in there, like a derby, something like that. You know, this thing is just my go-to razor. I absolutely love it. It's so user-friendly. I love the size of this, the knurling on here. It's a two-piece razor, which, which I really like. It unscrews from down here, and the cap comes off. It's just overall, it's just such an excellent razor. And if you guys don't have this, I know most of you do, but if you don't, I highly, highly recommend picking this up. I think that'll be a valuable shave tool in your shaving den. All right, going from razors now is gonna be razor blades. I've, I've been doing my blade review series. I haven't gotten to all the blades out there, but I have discovered a few gems out there. Persona Lab Blues are kind of my go-to. Those are my razor of the blade last year. Razor Blade of the Year last year, um, but this year there's another blade that I've discovered that I've just really fallen in love with, and these are these Gillette 7 o'clock Super Stainless. These are incredible blades. They're made by Gillette, produced in Russia, and I think that from a uh, standpoint comparing them to Persona Lab Blues, I think these are a little bit sharper and a little bit smoother. These go great in my Mercor 34C, and really any other razor I've tried them in. They're smooth enough that they perform well in an aggressive razor, and they're also sharp enough that they really take mild razors and can allow you to get a great shave with them. So these are my blades of the year. All right, shaving brushes of the year. So I'm gonna give an award this year to a boar brush of the year, badger brush of the year, and a synthetic brush of the year. So 
my bore brush of the year. And bore brushes are my go-to brushes. So I've used a lot of bore brushes this last year. I'm always trying new ones out there. But this one is amazing. The Samogue 830. You can see it here. Acrylic candle. Beautiful bore knot. It's been blooming because I'm going to use it in today's shave. Look at the splay on that. It's unbelievable. This is a dyed boar hair knot. In the past, I've stayed away from dyed boar hair just because I think that boar hair is beautiful as is. I don't think it needs this dye in here to make it amazing, and I thought it used to actually detract a little bit from the beauty of it. But when they color this, they also process these hairs somehow, and this is just amazing. I don't really know what it is, but they are so soft, but it's also really densely packed, so it has that good backbone that I, that I really like about boar hair brushes. And this thing just whips up a lather like crazy. It's so comfortable to use. Beautiful acrylic candle. My hat's off to smoke for making this brush because it's really, really amazing. So, badger brush of the year also goes to a Samogue brush. Um, this year I've used more badger hair brushes than I've ever used in my shaving experience. And this is the brush that really kind of allowed me to start enjoying badger hair brushes uh, due to its performance. And this is the Samogue Owners Club two band badger hair brush. This thing is just an amazing brush. It's so soft. Sometimes people say that these two band finest knots kind of have like gel tips. It kind of feels like gel on there uh, when, the, uh, when the hairs are wet and I totally agree with that. So comfortable but it's also a very uh, densely packed knot. It still has a lot of backbone in there so I don't really feel like I was having to use this too differently from my boar hair brushes. Just gave such an amazing experience. I absolutely love this brush. It is really, really amazing and definitely, um, definitely should be my brush of the year for badger hair brushes. All right, synthetic hair brushes. So I have just started to get into synthetic hair brushes. I have maybe about eight, nine, ten of them around. I've been experimenting with them, uh, but so far one has really stood out, and this is the Razor Rock Plus Soft. This one is like, it looks a lot like the Plasson knot in there. Very, very soft tips, but it is just, it's really densely packed in there. So it's got backbone. I like brushes that have a good amount of backbone. I feel like they allow me to load up the amount of soap I want, but also give me the, you know, the push I want on my face while I'm face lathering to work up the lather. And this brush has just absolutely done it for me. I really, really do love this plus soft brush. And it's only like $9.99, so it's a great deal on top of it. All right, my post-shave uh, regiment of the year. So I'm going to give an award to a, uh, an alcohol-free post-shave, um, like splash or tonic, a kind of a more balm, an F-shave balm that I've liked, and then alcohol-based uh, aftershave. So my alcohol-free one goes to the Lucky Tiger Aftershave and Face Tonic. This stuff is really, really nice. It's actually made in Milwaukee. Uh, I started using it first not as an aftershave, just as a face tonic. I'd put it on my face in the morning um, after I got out of the shower and then at nighttime before I go to bed. I noticed it really helped clear up my face. I don't, everyone gets a little bit of imperfections here and there from time to time. And this stuff has just really cleared up my face. I've started using it as just an aftershave too, and I love this stuff. It really helps prevent any irritation, stuff like that. It cools down your face after the shave. All right, then for the balm, I really like putting on a balm, especially in the winter months. It just kind of helps lock in the moisture so my skin doesn't get too dried out. I have pretty sensitive skin, and if I don't put on balm, my skin will get dried out just like that. So my aftershave balm of the year here goes to Soap Commander. And here I have it in the uh, Integrity scent, or unscented, it's their unscented uh, variety of this aftershave balm. And it does have a little bit of menthol in there, which is really nice. It adds a little bit of cooling sensation. It's not overdone. Very, very uh, light and easy on your face. Great stuff. It has aloe in there, distilled water, avocado oil, sweet almond oil, emulsifying wax, um, shea butter, just awesome, awesome ingredient list on here. Comes from also a great company, great packaging. Really, really do love this aftershave balm. All right, now for an alcohol-based aftershave. This year it goes to Fine Platinum. So Fine makes a whole range of aftershaves. That's what they really specialize in. They have a bunch of scents out there, and I really do enjoy all of their scents, but this one is just really, really nice. It smells like a nice men's cologne. It's really, really just a special scent. It kind of uh, is supposed to, I guess, be modeled after Creed Aventus, 
which is a great cologne. I have tried it before, but it's really expensive. For a bottle of that, it's like 200 bucks, and this is $15. And I really like the packaging too. It comes in a nice glass bottle, kind of looks like a flask. It has that contour there. Really, really awesome stuff. I really love this. My wife loves this scent, and so you can see it's actually my second bottle of it this year, and it's already almost half gone. Love this stuff, and I highly recommend it. All right, the last two things are things that are just kind of shaving accessories that I think everyone should have around. I use them uh, when I need them, but one of these I use all the time with every shave, and that's an alum block. I have the Razor Rock alum here, and it is just, it's awesome. You know, pretty much all alums, when it comes down to it, behave the same. I can't really tell the difference between different alum products from different companies. I have the Razor Rock one here. I use it every shave. I keep it right here next to my sink at all times. I always wet my fingers and rub it here on the top of the block when I'm grabbing my shaving brush or my razor. It gives you that little bit of extra grip on there that I, I just feel like I need. And I feel like it adds some quality of shave because I have better control over my shaving tools. All right, last one for the year. Uh, I do think this is definitely worth mentioning, styptic pencil. This is the Clubman Panade styptic pencil. Um, I've unfortunately had to use it a few times this year. You use this if you get a really bad cut on your face. You just wet this stick in water, and then you just rub it on that area of your face, and it closes it up almost immediately. You know, unfortunately, we all have those times when we're gonna cut ourselves and we need something like this around, and I'm really, really happy that I've had this available for when I have needed it. And it's pretty cheap, you know, you can get one for like somewhere around like four bucks. This is the jumbo size. It's a one ounce uh, styptic pencil. And, you know, I definitely think you guys should have one around if you are wet shaving in any regard with either a straight razor or a safety razor. All right, let's go ahead and get started with today's shave. I just got a shower. Facial hair is nice, cleaned out, hydrated, ready to go. I have one day of facial hair growth. For today's shaving soap, I'm going with the Barrister and Man Seville. It was here blooming while I was in the shower. Go ahead and add the blue water to my face. There you go. It's a great base of hydration to add to your face bloom water of any soap. I really do bloom before I shave every single time. All right, and even though the Recor 34C was my safety razor of the year, I'm not going to be using that for today's shave. I'm going to be using my grandfather's razor. I used it last year in my gear of the year. Uh, video. It's his Gillette Super Speed. It's from the 70s. And I figured it'd be nice to use this again today. But I will be putting it at the uh, Gillette 7 o'clock Super Stainless. Go ahead and get this thing loaded up. Alright, this thing always lines up perfectly the first time I put a blade in there. It's really well made. All right, and we'll be using my boar brush of the year. Need to dip my fingers in that alum because it's slick from the bloom water. There we go. Once again is the Samoog 830. Look at that thing. I love how this brush blooms. It's just so beautiful. All right, you can go ahead and load up. Plenty of soap load up, just looking for that pastiness between the bristles. Go ahead into a face lather. Perfect. Very, very happy with that lather. That's what I'm talking about from Barrister and Man. Just look how creamy this stuff is. So thick. Really do love it. All right. Got the razor in my right hand. First pass with the grain.
you go. Good first pass. These these vintage Gillette razors, they uh, they are quite mild, so I think it takes a full three passes to really get to where you want, but it's a really good first pass. Just paint on my next lather. Oops. All right, second pass, cross grain this direction. There we go. That is much closer now. Excellent slickness behind with this soap. Alright, third lather application. That's another thing I love about this brush. It holds so much lather. There's just gobs left in there. Alright, back to razor third pass. Cross direction the other way. Very good. All right, feeling back here. This is good. A little bit left under my nose. Still a fair amount of slickness left, so I'm just gonna go for it. Got it. All right. Same thing here on my neck. There you go. I'm back here, I'm actually really happy with where it's at. Let me get it. There's always a few little areas that I want to get closer. But I don't think I need to do a full formal cleanup pass. I actually really like this. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and get cleaned up. Alright. Excellent shave. Very close, very, very comfortable here. Wow. Really, really like, I really like those Gillette 7 o'clock super stainless blades. Those are just amazing performers, and they perform great in the Mercor 34C. I obviously didn't use that today. I used my grandfather's razor, but those blades in that razor are superb, and really any other razor I've used them in. All right, post-shave today. I'm going to be going with the Lucky Tiger. Also, I like this bottle because it has a little cap on here, so you just squirt some out. It doesn't spill everywhere. Alright, there we go. And then I'm going to put on a little bit of the Soap Commander Post Shave Balm. Alright, so that's it. Thank you guys so much for joining me for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed my shave gear of the year. I really do love all these products. Uh, that's why I wanted to share them with you guys because I think that they really, really are so excellent. And I get to try all these products really thanks to your guys' support of my channel. So thank you guys so much. I really, really do appreciate it. And like I said before, this is something in my life I very much enjoy and I have to thank my viewers totally for this. So thank you guys very, very much. Happy New Year and stay tuned. Lots of videos to come. Thanks for watching.